Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? We're back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We are here with Season 3 of Call of Duty Mobile, and the Battle Pass has arrived, so we're going to be opening that up and trying out the brand new PP Bison. Before we hop into it, I want to give a huge shout out to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already, you can download Call of Duty Mobile using the link down in the description, and they're actually allowing me to give away a few Battle Passes as well. So if you want to be entered to win one of those, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and comment your username down in the comment section down below. Drop a like if you feel like it as well, but without any more talking, we're going to go ahead and hop into the action. All right, heading on over to the pa Battle Pass bundle. We're definitely going to go ahead and buy this because it does give us an extra knife, which is super, super sick. The base melee... Pendragon. I think this is actually the first of its type in the game, so I'm gonna go ahead and max this out. Looks like we do have a little bit of a longer season. This season going to be 40 days, whereas usually they're pretty much closer to 30, but we know there's some really big things coming in June, especially Kodem Champs. We do get the Hedora boss right there. We're also gonna go ahead and pick up the Type 25. You guys saw, I did a recent video on this. It's definitely a decent option. Better than I thought it was previously, and we'll probably be using that a good bit. We also have one of the free guns. The, the Pharaoh actually doesn't look bad at all. We're going to get the... Is this the RUS? If I'm not mistaken, I think that's correct. Yeah. And we get the Zero Escape. So, a whole lot... Holy crap. Dude! That bundle off the start, 1,200 CP for that, not a bad deal at all. Obviously, we're going to get the rest of the tiers to go ahead and max it out real quick. So we're going to run through this. Obviously, we're going to get some of our CP back as well. 4,400 to max it out all the way to level 50. And here we go. We do get the Bison at level 21 for free. We also get the official Hitman character of Call of Duty Mobile. Wait, is that a... Is that dual katanas? Am I seeing that correctly? Maybe that's a charm. I'm not 100% positive, and for those of you who are going to ask if I'm sick, I'm not sick. Allergies in North Carolina are just really, really bad right now. This is the official Hitman character skin for those of you who want to wear. Oh my gosh, we get more of the free Battle Pass skins. This is the ASM-10, if I'm not mistaken. All these Battle Pass skins are super, super sick. Looking really, really cool. We'll probably do some gameplay with that one as well. Then we got the QXR. Y'all know I love using the QXR. I mean, would anybody say this is not one of the best, if not the best, Battle Pass? The, like, the combination of the character skins and the gun skins, th there aren't really any misses in the entire thing. We get the Spectre Ninja right there. We get the PP-19 Bison right here. I... This is just a, this battle pass is a massive walking W. So we're gonna go ahead, throw on the bison, max this sucker all the way out. Obviously we got more than enough XP cards cause we never really have to use them for anything. And I was curious about this. It does have an OTM mag. I saw Noah talking about that on Twitter. It does reduce damage range and bullet penetration, but I'm interested to try this out and see how it impacts it. Oh my gosh, the extended mag gives it plus 20 mag capacity. I'm pretty sure the base mag capacity is like 64. This is definitely going to be interesting. We got some very unique attachments for this one. You do have the sawed off barrel right here, which gives you ADS time, but obviously we're probably going to want to get something a little more balanced like the MIP extended light. And we're probably going to run granulated grip tape for the ADS bullet spread. I'm going to try this out in the firing range real quick just to see what it looks like with the OTM mag. So I saw Path talking on Twitter about how the Bison is not able to 3-tap. I don't think whenever he was talking about that, he was talking about the OTM mag. So we're going to try this. 26. It doesn't look like it does... It, what? What's the purpose of the OTM mag? Am I not using the OTM mag? Oh, wait. This is the 64. What the freak? Um... So the OTM mag isn't on it in the training room? I'm so confused. Okay, so apparently they just named the OTM mag incorrectly, and it says 30 round, but it's actually just a regular magazine, but it does more damage to the lower body, so that's the primary use that it has. Okay, I, I'm suddenly a lot less confused. It's a glitch in the name and not what the actual size of the magazine is supposed to be, and it also works differently from the DRH OTM mag. 
Okay, so now that we know that, I'm not going to use the OTM mag, and we're going to do something that's going to give us a little bit more horizontal recoil control. Obviously, I do want to still use the no stock, so I'm not quite ready to give up what I would need to to use the steady stock, but if it feels like the recoil is too much, then I might give it a swap. All right, so somebody was telling me that the OTM mag actually extends the range. So I'm going to test this out real quick. This is without the OTM mag. 19s and 24s right there. If we switch it over to the OTM mag, 22s all the way up. That's so interesting. Okay, that does change the, the damage by a lot. It makes it so that you're automatically going to 5-tap at 20 meters, which definitely does a lot for it. 26s all the way up there. And with the regular mag, you're still going to have the ability to not do a 26. So I think OTM is still going to be worth it. We're going to throw on the Spectre Ninja, and we'll be good to go. So from what I've seen so far, I already played one game with it, and it's definitely very unique. I think the PP Bison can be very, very viable, primarily because of the magazine size. We'll have to wait and see to what degree it's going to be viable. I'm not sure at a competitive level where everything's going to come down to, like, individual gun kills, if you're really going to be able to dominate with it. But with OTM Meg, we'll see what that does. Oh, gosh. That one. Got two freaking Molotovs! All right, not really sure what that dude was doing. We get the break right here. That's big. One right there. All right. I mean, this thing's definitely a freaking laser beam. Oh, there we go. All right. Now we're beaming. I mean, you can basically pre-fire the entire day long if you want to. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a very sizable upside to this gun. You are never running out of ammunition. Big shout out to the teammate for getting an advanced UAV up. That's huge. Hello, nice thermite, dude. Sick, 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 love it. I think we can get a big flank right here. Oh my gosh, he's got an annihilator. I'm gonna take out that single-handedly, probably. Wait, wait, oh no. Confusion? There's one. Wait, I thought there was another guy alive right there. Okay, we'll take it. Nothing! Shock RC. Do your thing, dude! What? That guy yoinked so hard! A one, two. Oh my gosh! Oh, that should have been a third pain. All right, shock RC, giving the locations. Oh my gosh! I actually can't believe I got that one. All right, I'm gonna have to get used to some of my instincts of just auto reloading after a spray, because I'm reloading when I've still got like 40 bullets left in my magazine. We're probably gonna spawn down here. Yep. Big. Okay, finally hitting our sprays. Nice. Oh, of course he's got a sniper! Hello, sir. How are you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. Another one right there. Now is when you pull out. Boom! Boom! Maybe some more streaks incoming? So I'm on the UAV. The worst player of all time. It's okay. I have a million bullets, so this gun is great for people who are bad at the game. Hoggers! Alright. I need an annihilator break of my own. There's one. Two. Massive. Oh, booyah. Love it. Three. No! It's always a QQ9! Got him. Oh, yes, we win these. We win these. Oh my gosh, I'm clutching up. Died off the hill, but that's okay. They get the contest, but not for very long. They're gonna be all right here. Oh, we win that. Let's go. Let's go. We win this. What a comeback. Wow, what a comeback. I'm entering mid game. What the heck? Here. Oh, look at that spray. It's a thing of beauty. 
Wait, I just ran into the gravity force. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I, I forgot how that worked. Hello? Nice to see you there. Hello? Nice to see you there. Spray! Don't need to reload! Don't have a need to reload. Oh, that's nice. Shock RC is going to help me to get the race here. Called it. Enemy shock RC is coming. Hard point is ours. Oh my gosh, I'm wrecking these kids. What the Focus heck? Enemy UAV spot. I just need to get the right lobby, dude. I just need to get the right lobby, dude. Oh man. This is it. That I will say this is probably the most beginner friendly gun. Just because of the combination of the amount of bullets that you have. It's got good mobility. It doesn't really have any recoil. It's just like... Sheesh! Oh, that sentry gun is just going to fall. Oh, yeah. It's just going to keep farming. Oh. Oh, it's too easy. Wait. Come back. What the? How does that not hit? I don't get that. Where's the guy on the point? Oh, they're colliding back there. Ha! Nifty. There's another one right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's too many of them! I can't believe I got that kill and I didn't die. It's just too much ammo. They can't handle it. They can't handle all the ammo. I came in at what point in this game and I've already got 21 kills, huh? Okay, shock RC assist. Got right there. That's another free kill. Sentry gun right there. Oh, he's got an X. Yep, sentry gun is just going to keep on spraying. Hello? Hello? Nice to see you. Oh my, grab spikes. This is chaos. Hello.